In this video we're taking a look at the Martel 25 tilt rotor. We're going to be taking a look at the characteristics and features as well as taking it out on a rescue mission to see how it handles in the real world. So let's go. Here we are with the Martel 25. As you can see, it's a mid-sized uh, tilt rotor. It's still capable of landing on a vessel without uh, tipping it over. Usually, obviously, a bigger vessel for sure, such as I've shown on the uh, Coast Guard Cutter Dante. So that one has a modified version of the Martel 25 that has uh, weaponry. But it's powered by two uh, small diesel engines in each of its uh, tilt rotors and it has 10 seats inside along with some equipment and the finishing is uh, luxury in nature so Martel is a luxury tilt rotor brand that has sort of carpets and beige leather seats and stuff if we head on to the inside and take a seat in the uh, pilot's seat. We see that the controls are operated the same way as my uh, other helicopter designs. So you hit the throttle and the starter and it starts. It has an autopilot feature, which is nice as well, as well as a camera in front and beneath for uh, when you're trying to position yourself over something. And if you're playing in first person, obviously. The controls to the tilt rotor are here as well as uh, hotkeys 5 and 6. And uh, there is a calculator for the range when you're in the air, when you're flying and using your diesel, you could see how much range you have with that. So let's get started. There's a mission that's ongoing right now that's to find a uh, picnic boat in this fairly large area. So we're kind of in the middle of it. So we'll take off and kind of make flight circles and see if we can use this thing to, to locate it successfully. So I always like to tilt, rotate forward and kind of use the front wheel to get out of the hangars. At which point then we can retract our landing gear. Everything else seems okay. Now what we need, what we can also do is turn on our beacon locator and until it yeah there we go 10 kilometers so we'll enable the tilt rotor function or turn into an airplane mode and then we also have a uh, high gear which is an eco mode so it, it reduces the fuel you, you use and it reduces your speed by maybe 10 or so knots so not too much of a downside but really it uh, does end up saving you fuel. So we've turned on the uh, hold, altitude hold function, and we're gonna just sort of make our way around here until we can close in on this. So it seems we're distancing ourselves from this, so that will turn around. So when we're facing the other direction, we'll see if our uh, if it starts to hone in, so we'll fly north for a little while. And I've just turned on the hold heading, so now we know for sure we're going in a straight direction. Yeah, the range is being reduced ever so slightly, so maybe we, we're not north, maybe it's northeast or northwest, but regardless, let's keep flying in this direction. It's a fairly large circle. I guess we are better off flying in the northeast direction. That's kind of the map vast majority of it. So let's turn off the whole heading and kind of rotate until we're facing northeast and then lock in the whole heading. So now it's going faster. So that's good. Now the autopilot function, when we turn off the whole heading, what's nice about it is it's uh you can use it to kind of fly search grids so right now we're flying in this direction and it's it's constantly increasing 
but if we fly something like this, like a zigzag pattern, we might come across it sooner, or we could at least see where the uh, where where it speeds up faster. And we'll let the plane do that automatically. So I'm not pressing any keys now. It's just flying on full autopilot. It is a system where you select waypoints, kind of like I've showed you. And it's not, um, there's no keyboard to input your GPS location of where you want to go. But it'll cover that distance in one minute, which is nice. And we're constantly getting closer, so that's good. We're still flying more or less northwest. So we just found out as it turned to the north west rather than northeast so i think I, I think i made a mistake and said northwest earlier but we're, we want to fly northeast when i fly northwest it seems that the range started to increase so what we can now do is remove all these waypoints and just manually turn us we'll turn off the autopilot and we'll rotate ourselves until we're flying in this direction and it may, we may have even passed it because at one point we had 10 kilometers so now let's fly in the total east direction and see if we start to increase like maybe the thing somewhere over here yeah it's going down we have those mountain ranges to contend with so we definitely don't want to hit them and also the boat could be in the actual um, fjord But I think we're on the right track with this direction more than anything, and more than we've been so far. Let's fly through the fjord. It looks appealing to us. This is just so cool. All the visuals of this game, I mean, for me especially, knowing I created this thing, and now it's flying around, just, I don't know. As an engineer, I think that's <laughs> that's part of the reason I am an engineer, is uh, to kind of see my creations take fruition, so it's really cool. Okay, we're back though to not really gaining much, so I guess it would be south. Let's rotate down here. Kind of southeast heading. Oh, I definitely want to fly under that bridge another time. That's always a hit or miss, though. Sometimes it ends terribly. It's still saying 9 kilometers, which is weird because we have only 3 until we make it to there. So maybe it's super far south. What if it's down there? That's 10 kilometers. So it could be like halfway to there. We'll turn off our eco mode, gain us a little speed, make this a little faster. I still have a ton of fuel, so it doesn't really matter. And also, I do want to lose a little altitude. I'm, I'm not a fan of flying this high when we're searching for something. Even though we're not really close to it yet, but the lower we get, the easier it'll be to spot. There, so we're at 40 meters. That's a little better. Six kilometer distance. I can feel it. We're coming closer. So now we're really close. We're within two and a half kilometers of our target, so eyes open, and we'll see if we can spot it. Definitely takes a little bit of time to find this, but we're lucky because we're just going really fast, like 300 kilometers an hour or so. There we go. I found you. Oh, we got a fire. Okay, tilt the rotors back. Oh, 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 oh. You definitely don't want to turn on um, air helicopter mode while you have any of these functions like autopilot or hold heading on. They will freak it out and you will end up crashing. So you have to be very mindful. I don't make it an automatic thing. As I've said, I prefer talented operators. I mean, people that are actually going to know how to operate and not make mistakes like that and if they do then it'll it'll cost you even I make mistakes like that sometimes and unfortunately then you end up 
um, crashing. So, anyway, we're hovering over the boat. Let's try to put out the fire first. I'm gonna fly right over that fire. We don't have an onboard fire extinguisher or uh, uh, fire hose. We do have an extingu extinguisher. Let's see if this will do. No. I don't want to get out of it yet. Let's. See. So what I what I tend to do in situations like this is you enter it almost. You go to zero zero uh, altitude, and when it's at zero altitude, you press uh, altitude hold. And now we can open our door and still make our way back in. Okay, let's hopefully not uh, cause a fire. Where is it? There we go. Oh shoot, we're on fire. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Definitely not good, definitely not good. Okay, hopefully we didn't damage it too much. And then that thing's way over there, and we're drifting. I don't believe we can fix it while it's <laughs> while it's in operation, but let's try. Otherwise, we're in big trouble if we don't fix it. Oh, it worked. Beautiful. Okay. That was so silly, but here we are. I can't do this from the water, so let's get inside. See if I can fix the rest of it. Damn, this thing is pretty tough then. There's a little damage up there. Maybe we'll work. Maybe we'll still make it work with it. Okay, anyways, that plane's gonna that boat's gonna <laughs> fully catch. So let's uh, turn off our altitude hold. Let's make our way closer to it. That was a close call, guys. Okay. We got people we gotta save and the fire, so let's do one thing at a time. Let's land, let's hover back here. Okay. And then let's hold altitude and let's hold position in helicopter mode only. That's fine. still kind of moving, which is a little sketchy, but hopefully it doesn't, uh, nope. As long as we can still hop onto these seats, we'll be, we'll be okay. But I don't like that, just because <laughs> I prefer if my altitude was more in the water like this, so we don't end up drifting away from our vessel. Okay, fire extinguisher, let's save this boat, and let's save these guys. side or if we just can jump up on the front here. Looks like we put out the fire. So that's the first step now. And then we'll rescue these guys. Now how much did it how many guys did it say we had here? And are they all alive? Three casualties. So we got one here. One here, and one here. Everyone follow me. Oh, we'll put you... Oh, I lost someone. Follow me, follow me. I was holding somebody. Oh, I'm not. Buddy, come here. And where's these other guys? Okay. Oh, they're inside. Fantastic. We'll put everybody on seats. Oh. Okay. Everyone's sitting. We'll distribute the weight a little more evenly. Boats not on fire anymore. So we're good to go. I love it. And we got the nice sunset, so let's take these guys to a hospital. We're turning on the tilt rotor mode. 
and heading off to that waypoint. And I want to try something to finalize or to end off the video. I want to land on a hospital boat, but I do want to make sure that the VTOL can land there. I've never landed the VTOL on the hospital boat. So beautiful sunset flight and we're making our way. We're doing 155 knots at an altitude of 200 meters. Have good fuel, have all good stats even after our little fire on the on the rotor. So I'm impressed that that actually proved that this thing is pretty uh, capable. I see some damage there, but we're, we're going strong. So we found the hospital ship. It's taken a bit of time, but here we are. And I'm just gonna see if it can set down on the deck. Now the thing is in motion, so it's a little tricky to. Uh, plan the landing we have to match the speed but we'll see if we can do this so we'll come in but it, the deck does seem big enough to have the uh, VTOL comfortably on it okay let's go set down oh let's move forward a little bit more and then we got to turn on our handbrakes and stuff to make sure the thing doesn't fall back okay nope nope We've gotta move forward and throttle down Okay, let's throttle down. Nice. That is much better. It seems we're actually sta staying stationary here. So, we did it. We landed on the hospital ship. Now, it does look very epic, the VTOL, just on the back of this uh, hospital ship. So, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more, and see you soon.